Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Gathered together in that upper room in the days after Jesus' death, the disciples probably thought, this is the end. The end to all Jesus had done and said and been to them. The end to the kingdom they had thought he would bring. What joy and boundless possibilities must have flooded their minds when the resurrected Jesus showed up in their midst. But not too long afterwards, Jesus left them again. This time before he left, he wanted his friends to know this is not the end. His death was not the end. Even his resurrection wasn't the end of the story. It was just the beginning. All that came before was just a prequel to the kingdom. The goal was to build the kingdom all over the world so every nation, tribe, and tongue would have a chance to share in it, be part of it, and help build it. He wanted all of us involved. And that's what the Great Commission is all about. Let's read it again. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. It always amazes me that part of Jesus' plan was to get us in on it. Yes, he could do it all by himself, but he wants us involved. He wants us to see him working in, through, and around us. Yes, it's his power and his authority but he gives us the privilege of being right in the middle of the action. It's not just a privilege, it's a command. What are we supposed to do? Well, first, we're supposed to go. Not just sit in our comfy pews or stay at home or in a monastery somewhere communing with the Lord on our own. No, he wants to get us out there. He wants us to go, be in the world and not of it, be his representatives to everyone we meet. Second, we're supposed to make disciples, not converts. Getting someone saved is not our end goal. Multiplying disciples is. We can't just leave new Christians to figure out things on their own. We must lead them, teach them, get them involved in kingdom work right beside us, just like Jesus did with his disciples. Jesus also commanded that we baptize those that we disciple. Baptism is the first step in most new Christians' lives to announce to the world, I am a follower of Christ. It's their first step of obedience that should become a pattern in their lifetime. He also wants us to teach them. Now, we can't all teach a Sunday school class or lead a Bible study, but we can share what we've learned from God in our Sunday school or Bible study class. And we can teach others one-on-one, whether that's our children, children in the faith, or each other. What God teaches us, we have a responsibility and the privilege to pass on to others. How are you fulfilling this command of our Lord to go, make disciples, baptize, and teach? I pray God would open doors for each of you today to joyfully participate in his kingdom work. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.